Hi girlies and welcome back to my channel. I'm Girl Beats World and if this is your first time here, hi! I am so honored to have you. My channel is all things beauty, from makeup routines to skincare, I do it all. So if that's content you like, honey, make sure that you like, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell. Today I'm giving you a step-by-step -step on this amazing Mented Cosmetic eyeshadow routine. I use this amazing black owned brand and I'll give you the details in just a bit. I also show you how to get this perfect red lip mwah, using any red lipstick products that you may have around the house. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get started. So as you can see, I zoomed in so you can get right up on my face so you can catch all the details of this beat. I have also already done one eye so I can talk you through quickly and get through this other eye with you. And I've also gone ahead and primed my eyes with Urban Decay Priming Potion as well as my Fenty Concealer as a base to make sure we have a smooth and even start. The two palettes that we're going to be reviewing today, as the title says, are from Mented Cosmetics. They came in these gorgeous little uh, compact eyeshadow palettes, so they're perfect for travel. And um, this one is the Macchiato. Um, I did do one eye, so you can see the different colors here. We have some of that green, um, some nudes, and a nice shimmer. Um, we're going to be using Barista in short in this palette today. On the other side, we have Latte, and this is the pumpkin spice latte palette so you can see all the beautiful colors in this palette here so i'm excited to play with them um we are going to be using all of the colors in this palette so super exciting um let's not waste any more time let's get into some of these looks and i will explain everything that i'm doing as i go and i'll also explain what some of my first impressions are after using this palette for the first time okay so first we're going to start with barista barista is that nice light brown i will be using mostly blending brushes throughout this look i do try to like limit how, how many blending brushes i use but uh, or how many brushes i use on a regular but today we need all the blending brushes we can get because we're working with a good amount of colors um this look was more subtle but to be honest it was a little boring so i wanted to really showcase all the different looks you can do with this so just tapping in this color here i'm actually gonna zoom out a little bit because i feel like you guys i'm like <laughs> you gotta tilt your head up and back and um to really see that formation that you want and i'm not going to go too far on the inner corner of the eye we kind of want it to just kind of fade out a little bit so you can see that this is very highly pigmented it's a nice beautiful brown color like some browns are a little dark or too light i feel like this is the perfect brown um and i'm just going to do like small circular motions in my eye um, on the eye not in it like so so small circular motions and then we're going to jump to the latte latte <laughs> palette we're gonna switch to another blending brush the uh, first blending brush i used was from morphe this is from sigma i'm going to be bouncing back and forth between them this is a smaller brush because i want to get right into the middle here uh the outer corner of the eye and just blend that outer corner up into the top part and the thing is is that you bold is in but in a more subtle way so we're going to go bold on the outer corner we're going to transition using that orange i did use like i did start with like a softer look but it was just too soft i was like i don't know i feel like i want them to be able to see all of these amazing colors and you know really get to experience what minted cosmetics has to offer and if you haven't heard of minted cosmetics they are black owned 
The owner is an AKA. I will forgive her for that as I'm a Delta. But uh, yeah, I was honored because my little sister, again, I know you guys always hear about her, was so kind and supporting me in this channel. And she sent me these as a gift, a surprise gift, along with the Jackie Aina palette, which you guys have seen me record with a couple times. And if you haven't, a video link for those just came up. So just blending all those colors together to make a nice, smooth transition. Now jumping back into that macchiato palette, I'm using a flat eyeshadow brush and I'm going to tap into the color short and I'm just going to gently place the shadow on my eyelid. So just tapping it in and you can see it's very flesh tone, which I like. We're gonna tap all of this in we're gonna pull this out because again, you just want it to kind of like fade into each other. This is coming out a lot better. Um, this palette, these palettes, because there's two, I do like the colors. I do like the ease in being able to put this in. Mented was created with women of color in mind, so I'm not surprised that it's very pigmented and you can see the colors very well. Now that we've placed um, this short on the inside, I'm going to use the color um, Crema. Crema. <laughs> and I'm going to place that on the inner corner of the eye and just kind of right on top of that lid as well. I'm using the same eyeshadow brush that I used before. So just applying that in the same motion this is just to add to a shimmer it's not the star of our show right so like you can leave this matte but i wanted to show you guys all these different colors so i decided to tap into that as well i'm taking this flat patrick sigma brush and i'm tapping into those orange colors from that um from the beginning and it's double shot and ice so I'm tapping that right into the inner corner of my eyes, going a little heavier with double shot because I want it to really show. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little disappointed with this orange. I definitely thought it was gonna show up a little more pigmented than it did, but I think it's okay. Um, it's not like washed out like other palettes, so I'm happy with it, but it's definitely not as bright as some palettes like Juvia's Place or another palette. But I do like it. Um, I do feel like the shadows come a little flat for my taste. Like the finished product just, I don't know, like you see, it just falls a little flat for me, but um, that's probably some of the constructive criticism I would use. But if you're just beginning, you want to support black owned beauty companies, which we all should, um, this is a great way to do it a great way to do it so you guys know we always blend everything out we don't want any harsh lines we're looking for those small circular motions to be able to do that and it's always that like tough call of like <laughs> over blending you know you don't want to over blend because you want to keep that color but you definitely want to make sure that there are no harsh lines so yes, looking very pretty, looking pretty symmetric, which is always good. You always want it to look like the other side, you know? Um, but yeah, I love how everything's melting into one another and I feel like it looks very smooth. Now that we've placed everything, I want to go in and with that barista again. <clears throat> I am not using the right brush. Go in with barista and just Again, make sure everything's nice and smooth at the top and easily colored. Because next, you've probably seen this trend a little bit um, of this, of like highlighter being used in eyeshadow and on the lids to help highlight the face even more. So we're going to do that. I'm spraying a little bit of my MAC Cosmetics setting spray. I'm going in with my Fenty Beauty. And I'm first going to do the inner corner of my eye and get that nice pop there. I went a little bit heavy, got a little messy, but it's okay, I'll clean that up later. And then um, I followed up 
what's going on top with a little master chrome. I know we're almost all like black owned, black led uh, brands, but we gotta do what we gotta do to get the look, you know? So this nice pop here. And then I'm going to use some more of that to just highlight the this little area of the brow. Oh yes, 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 yes. And I'm going at like an angle, right? I kind of want to cut those deeper colors and let it blend. And of course, we don't want any harsh lines, so we're just going back in with the same brush that I used for Barista and blending that all out. And now going in with a little bit of short and blending that into it as well. But you want that like, beautifully highlighted pigmented on the inside and the outside and ah, yes looking good honey okay so moving this right along let me take a little sip not much in there but it's okay okay so we've got our full um look on and i'm loving it like i was telling you guys when i did the other side it was looking really boring so i'm absolutely loving it i am going to just gently start from the middle of the eye with my eyeliner and we're going to just do small little ticks to place the liner in a very neat and organized way. I am using my Anastasia by Beverly Hills eyeliner, liquid eyeliner in black. A gel liner would be perfect for this look as well. We're just going a little at a time, placing it exactly where we want it to be placed. And I've got two of these, this is my old one of the eyeliner and it's like on its last leg and you can still see how like pigmented and stuff it's coming out so i'm really pleased by that and you want to make sure you stay into the end because i am oh there it is i am going to show you a unique way to do that lip liner and that lip that you saw at the beginning of the video i'm going to show you how to slay that and we're looking for a dramatic line. And so we're pulling it all the way up, getting, fading it out at the end at like that tip. And then we're gonna pull it back down, keep our eyes open so that way we can see exactly where the liner is being placed and just pull it back. Now this doesn't need to be perfect because I'm about to lay my lashes on and we all know how that can get. I'm so sorry if you can hear like Air Force One above me. Like, I don't know what's going on. Like, <laughs> I'm in Atlanta, but dang, like, the, the testing of the Air Force areas aren't by me. Like, that's crazy. Okay, we are going to now use some of this Maybelline lash sensational you know this is my favorite drugstore i love drugs uh maybelline mascaras um the fenty F mascara is also really great so either or we're gonna apply that and then we're gonna apply it on the bottom lash as well and we're about to smudge out that bottom lash so if you get anything on there don't worry about it and then we're going to take this lash from Lily Lashes. I don't know, to be honest, these are old. So we're gonna place them right on the lid. I'll have the lash in the description box. Okay, beautiful. Let's give that hideous white glue. I really hate using white glue, so I need to re-up on my black glue, my shadow glue, or my eyelash glue but we'll give that glue just a little bit of time to dry. While it does, we're going to take our liquid liner and we're going to line the um, bottom lash line again. Yeah. And then we're going to take our smudge brush Flash you. All right, then we're gonna take our smudge brush 
And we're gonna smush that out a bit just to give it a little bit more drama. Like I was saying, it was looking real, real boring before. Yes, this looks even better than the other side. <laughs> I know I shouldn't say that on camera, but it does. Okay, so now that we've smudged that out underneath, I'm going to use um, the eye espresso from Latte again, which is what we placed on that outer corner. And I'm just gonna smudge out underneath. Just apply that underneath as well to give it a little bit more dimension. And I'm gonna have a little mistake here. So I'm gonna use my little finger and my brush to clean that up. And when I do my foundation routine, um, I'll make sure to clean that up as well. Now that I've completed this eyeshadow, I'm going to knock out my foundation routine. If you want to see that, a link for it just popped up above me. And I will be right back to show you exactly how to do those dramatic, in-trend, fall red lips. I will be right back. Okay, so we are going to wrap up this look with the perfect red lip. And I do mean perfect and I know I've said that before, but I really mean it this time. So kicking this off, we're using our colored rain lip, uh, kicking this off, we're using our colored rain lipstick. Third time's the charm. We're gonna line our lips with this as much as we can, but it's okay if we don't get all the way to the top because I've got a little secret for you. So, line our lips. I'm not as worried as the, about the inner portion of it because I've got a plan for that. So line it, make sure it's nice and clean around. Then I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills red lipstick in the color Ruby. And I'm gonna go in on the inner corner, inner parts of my mouth. Now, Ruby Woo also looks very beautiful with this. So, if you have Ruby Woo, use that. If you have something to kind of place these on, even more of a, a sleigh, okay? This is, this Ruby's on its last leg, so I gotta be careful. All right. Ah, uh, I love this lip. It looks almost perfect, doesn't it? But it's not yet. Now, I'm going to take my NYX Cosmetics in the color Suede, and I'm going to just highlight or line the lips. That's a trick, line it after. I was watching Glow Up and I was like, huh, no wonder. This is how they get that perfect editorial red lip. So you wanna line as closely as you can. You know, I love to highlight my lip. You wanna make sure you keep your cupid's bow because it adds a definition to it. Don't wanna lose that and line it after. I was like, oh my gosh. This makes so much sense. Now, if you wanna learn how to overline your lips, oh no, I can't teach you that, sis. I got plenty of lips to have. So, <laughs> ain't no overlining around here. But this is a perfect way to accentuate and give you that perfectly lined red lip. And I, I use different reds. You can use one red if you want. Uh, for me, these are the ones that blend the most perfectly. Voila. So that is it, girlies. My full minted cosmetics red lip tutorial. I hope you guys truly enjoyed it. If you want to see the details on this foundation routine, just click the link right above me and you will be able to see my step-by-step -step contour method and exactly how I get this shiny, skin, flesh tone skin, luminous look. If you want more content like this, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell. Until next time, bye girlies!